when Hiranyakashipu got back from austerities, this, this person, his father, because of his austerities, he became so powerful that Brahma, who is the secondary creator, had to come and give him the boon that he would become as if, as if immortal. Terms and conditions apply. <laughs> right? Lord Brahma said, I'll live for 311 trillion, 40 billion, 320 million years. But I'll also leave one day. So how can I give you what I don't have? That set him back for a while. He's like, probably 311 trillion years is enough, maybe? You know, like sometimes you have a data plan. <laughs> unlimited data. It's like, is it really unlimited data? It's always terms and conditions apply. When you look in the fine print, it's like, after this much time, we're going to cap it, and then it's going to be as good as nothing. Crawl. Snail speed, 1G. So he said, I will not. He said, give me that boon that I cannot be harmed by man or animal or weapon. He didn't say woman. Hmm. Man means man, woman. He says, I, nobody that you created in Brahma. Ah, so he didn't believe in God, wasn't so faithful, huh? He said, no one that you have created can harm me. And he said, I cannot be killed in the day or the night. Land or sea or sky. What else? Inside or outside. Inside or outside. By, any weapon. By any weapon. What else? In the air, on the ground, not by FedEx air delivery <laughs> or by UPS snail delivery. So Brahma said, Tatashtu, Tatashtu, so be it, so be it. So he was very happy, you know. They say with men, right? Boys don't grow up, they just get bigger toys. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right? So he, this little demon boy. <laughs> I got big. Now I got a big toy, the whole universe. And he started terrorizing everybody like a big bully. All right, what's the demon? Just a bully, but some fragile, some entity there also. Anyhow, the story goes that he came home. Kayadu wanted the boon that she wouldn't give birth until her husband was home. So Narad Muni spoke to her for all that time, and the boy was hearing in the womb. And he said, okay, I won't come out. So he was very comfortable. That's why I tell people, bhakti doesn't mean hard work. My, me personally, my favorite time to do bhakti is when I'm laying down. Because I'm old man, no energy. I can just lay down and think about Krishna. <laughs> it's easy, right? You just lay down. Krishna says, man, mana, baba, just think about me. How hard is it to think about someone you love or that is very beautiful, right? Oh, very nice. This is Bhakti. So Prahlad Maharaj is just laying in the womb. His mother is eating nice prasad, good food, and he's very comfortable. Mm. And hearing Narad Muni, hearing Narad Muni, drinking that, drinking that Harikata, drinking that Harikata. So when he came home, she, had, she was born. Then they had a very happy life, happily ever after, right? Hiranyakashipu, Kayadu, baby Prahlad. They had a happy life. Everyone else. <laughs> he was having fun conquering the universe. Napoleon the Great. Right? Conquering everyone. Earth, heaven, hell. Everywhere was his dominion. 